2012, the facility study came back to the school district and Slate Run was at the bottom of the list um, or um, in need of most repair for our school district. And so we started that fall and winter working with the architects to design a building um, that was going to meet the needs of our students currently, but then also projecting to the future and, and making sure that it's going to be um, an awesome place to have students learn well into the future. You know, it, it's so meaningful to be proud of your environment, proud of your school, proud of your workplace. And I think we've given them two things, a place that works and a place to be prideful of. The girl with freckles made a picture of the school. We're ready. It's almost complete. We have um, folks uh, from the community here, uh, our community leaders, the school board, uh, all celebrating with a lunch and having a sneak peek, a preview of what's to come. Um, we will have our full community open house on August 22nd um, at 5.30 to 7.30 and we're looking forward to really being able to showcase the building um, in its entirety at that point. This project is not the result of uh, a superintendent or a school board or a politician. Uh, the rules of the game are if you want to advance your community you got to go to the ballot box. We did it in a tax neutral manner but still that's a very complex conversation. And there were a lot of conversations but at the end of the day 19,381 of our citizens said, yeah, yeah, we want this for our kids. And it's, it's just so rewarding, and I'm just so grateful. One, two, three. Well, it was so important for me. We built this school. Uh, you know, it's about kids, and so it was very important for me to have them to really be the first people to come into the building. And, and we did that, so we brought the entire school and um, new students. and just to see their faces as they entered. It was incredible. We could not have done this without the support of our community leaders, um, the Families for Floyd County PAC really getting out and letting those in the community know, and then ultimately those voters, almost 20,000 voters that came out and said yes. Um, we are going to support public education, we're going to support our schools, we're going to support our community. Um, we couldn't do that without those Floyd County voters, so the ultimate thanks goes to them.